It's on two. Sponsored by the College Planning Center, Steen Enterprises, the Curry Law Firm, and Roper's St. Francis Healthcare. We've got all your Low Country high school football action from week two right here on the Blitz. Thank you for watching the Blitz on two. I'm Brianne Welch. Now, before we get to the action, here are some things that we were looking for tonight. Kim Wando opened their new turf field with a win. It's a beautiful field, by the way. Berkeley, they're new to 5A, but they have been playing great. How did they handle the game environment at West Ashley? Fort Dorchester, another out of state challenge in Vieira from Florida. What did they bring to the Low Country? 3A Bishop England and 5A James Island. We know what happened at Sertoma. What went down between the Trojans and the Bishops? Those are just a few storylines we've got coming up for you tonight on the Blitz on Two. Blitz on Two Game of the Week, sponsored by the Curry Law Firm. Our Game of the Week at the brand new Wando Stadium. Actually, it's named the CCSD Wando, District two, 2 Stadium for now. All kinds of announcements and, and thanks before the games. But what happened on the field? Here it is. Wando on their first drive. Will Harris carried the ball a lot. Here he has a 27-yard run. That's a nice one, nice hard-fought run. Like I said, he did carry it a lot. That did not lead to a touchdown. Instead, the first points at the new stadium, courtesy of Andrew Wheel, a 33-yard field goal, bounces off the post, but points are points. The Warrior defense showing out again in the second game. Justin Pellick with a big sack. He had more big hits in the first half. Then we finally get some big points. Harris again, this time a very hard-fought hard touchdown. Pushes through all the defenders. Wando leads 10 to nothing. Let's go to the second quarter. Reed Garrish, your quarterback, scrambles in the pocket. And then watch this. A beautiful pass to Mack and Glover. It's just all around an awesome play. The throw, the catch, the fight into the end zone. It's 16 to nothing. The Wando Warriors went for two. And they're going to get, get it. Kellen Noonan to Luke McCaleb. Wando leads 18 to nothing in the first half. And then the scoring opened up. Wando opens the new stadium in a big way. A huge 52 to 13 win over RB Stahl. Well, we will keep the 5A action rolling tonight with a game that also could have been our game of the week. Undefeated Berkeley at undefeated West Ashley. The Wildcats taking on the Stags in West Ashley for a battle of 5A teams. First drive, Eric Tuttle. He finds DJ Chisholm for the touchdown. That's going to put Berkeley up 7 to nothing. Wildcats in punt formation. The ball sails over Bear Huggins' head. He is tackled in the end zone by Trey Morrison. That's for the safety. That puts the Stags up 9 to to nothing. Bad snaps and fumbles plagued West Ashley all night. Ber Berkeley picks up the loose ball in the end zone to make it 16 to nothing early in the second quarter. 5A still isn't a problem for the Stags. They beat West Ashley at West Ashley 46 to 7. Next week, the Wildcats host Goose Creek. Berkeley has a little break. They get a bye. Somerville at Goose Creek, a very, very green game tonight. And Somerville's keeping the good times rolling. First quarter, Jonathan Bennett fires a dart to Brody Hopkins, makes the catch, turns. And he likes to go fast. Nobody is going to catch him. The Green Wave leads 6 to nothing in the first. Not long after. Bennett again. This time he fakes the handoff. Does the hard work himself, working through the defense to find the goal line. Somerville extends the lead. And they kept adding to it. Somerville, another big win. This one on the road over Goose Creek. A shutout, 34 to nothing. Next week, the Gators have West Ashley. And Somerville's got their rivalry with Stratford to go to. Speaking of Stratford, they are undefeated. Ashley Ridge is 1-1 one one at the Swamp. Quarterback Matt Duncan with the ball with no open receivers. Looks for an opening and he finds it. Heading straight for the end zone. But he's pushed out of bounds by Knight Brandon Polite. Duncan tests his luck again. Easily finding wide receiver Chris Yates wide open. And again, a fox is wide open just all over the field. Duncan gets it to number 7. Nick Cunningham takes it all the way to the house. The Swamp Foxes go on to beat Stratford 21 to six, Ashley Ridge goes to Cane Bay next week. Fort Dorchester, this was a good one. Fort Dorchester got their first home win last week against Cane Bay. Tonight, they got a team from Florida, Vieira. Some solid defensive plays by the Patriots. The Hawks quarterback tries to send it to get the ball down the field, but Dwayne Tomlin says, nope, not today. Pass incomplete. Then things didn't go as smoothly for the Patriots here. Quarterback DeAndre Sab aiming for Quain John Simmons. This flips off his right hand to a Hawk. They'll make up for that mistake later. Sab. Can't find a target, but he finds an opening right there. Takes it straight up the middle. This did get way better for the Fort. With just seconds on the clock, 22 seconds, the Patriots get it done. They beat Fiera 31 to 28. A huge win. I heard the celebration from Fort was pretty amazing. A great win. How about this matchup? 3A Bishop England taking on James Island. Trojans at their place. Pick things up in the second half with the Trojans leading 7-6. Eric Rogers finds some room behind the line. Gets the end zone. It's 14 to 6. They keep going. Trojans 
DQ Vincent. He's almost picked off, but Jaden Scott secures it for the short gain on the two yard line. Next play, they keep it on the ground. Vincent scores the touchdown. It's 20 to 6 in a dominant second half. James Island at home gets their first win of the season, a 28 to 6 win over the battling Bishops. Well, it is time for us to take just a little breather here, but when we come back, I've got lots more highlights to get.